Roma. I'm the program engineering manager for the ZL1 Camaro. We're running two production ZL1s. We've got an automatic and a manual, and we're just trying to see what they'll do here on the drag strip. Well, we've added launch control in uh, performance traction management to help people uh, get the car out of the hole um, as quickly as possible. We've beefed up the drive line with a uh, 9.9 inch ring gear, four pinion carrier, um, asymmetric half shafts to help with power hop. Those are just some of the things we've done, paying attention to all the details to get the car to perform right here at the drag strip. Really, there's nothing you have to do to the car, maybe change air pressure and the tires depending on which venue you go to, but uh, you don't have to bolt extra parts on or, or anything different. As it comes from the showroom, you break it in and hit the track and go. My name is Gordon Rayeski. On the Camaro program, I have the driveline integration, so the rear axle, the half shafts, and the prop shaft. I'm a big advocate of making sure that the ZL1 was uh, worthy of the drag strip. One of the important aspects of the car is that you can take to the drag strip, just leave the stock tires on it if you'd like, and uh, it was very make it sure that it was very capable of uh, performing. We brought the drag radials out with us today to do testing on it to make sure that the customer who does choose to put drag radials on his car, uh, that they meet the expectations that he's looking for. So um, when you put your 18 inch drag radial on the car and, and you come up here to the, to the line, we designed the car with those loads in mind and with that customer in mind and even though that's not something we sell from the factory, um, we know people are going to do it and we wanted to make sure that the car would, would be equipped to handle it. The thing I'm most proud of on this car is that it's, it does everything and it does it well. It can come here to the drag strip and run a 12 second quarter mile all day long. You can take it on the track, it's balanced, it handles well, it does everything you need it to do and it's sophisticated and you can drive it in comfort as a daily driver and it does all those things and it does it well. All right, it's the end of the day here at Milan. We got a stack of time slips. Uh, it was a very successful test here. Uh, both of our cars cracked into the 11s uh, pretty easily, which is what we would expect. And uh, we're, we're really excited and, and proud of the fact that this car with basically no modification will come out here and do this and, and run it all day long. And we're going to drive them home and uh, couldn't be happier.